fellow men, dudes, brothers, hombres, and any other word for beautiful fluckers. Who here has been proposed to? What are your stories? My fellow dudes. I just got proposed to by my wonderful fiancé. After over a month of having her ring in a box in my car, planning out the perfect surprise trip to pop the question this absolute gem of a woman busts in and ruins all my plans by proposing to me. I couldn't believe it, I was absolutely ecstatic and immediately grabbed her ring too. I said yes. It took me by complete surprise in the best of ways. I've always wanted to be proposed to, but of course being the man I felt I had to do it. We had discussed it in the past and she said that it was a cool idea. Nothing else really came of it so I buckled down and made my plans after two years of dating. Then, she suddenly gets excited. Asks where my keys are, mail key is on mine, and runs to the mailbox in short shorts, Pokemon t-shirt, that is mine, and her rain boots, no rain in sight. Sprints the quarter mile to the mailbox, townhome community, sprints back, runs in covered in sweat with the biggest smile on her face and drops to one knee. Most simple thing ever and I effing lost IT. I am so pumped my dudes. Please. Tell me your stories. I'd love to hear them all. My wife and I had been on again, off again since high school in Texas and through college while I was in Maryland then I broke up with her for the fourth time and moved to Japan for work. She said I'd regret it, and I did. I contacted her on Skype, after a year apart and we started talking again, she was studying in Germany and I was still in Japan. We were both in relationships but we hit if off again like we always did, and kept talking and video chatting for months. I came back to Texas newly single to spend Christmas at home and was able to see her. She'd literally just ended it with her BF, and we hung out for a few days, really reconnecting, then I went back to Japan. A few weeks later we were on Skype talking again and she said, Dan we should stop messing around and get married. I responded, sure. Anyways, it's getting late so I'm gonna go to sleep, I miss you. The next morning I woke up and signed on to check on her like I had been for months. Me, good morning. Her, you know I was serious last night. Me, I said sure. I'm gonna put a ring in the mail today. We eloped that September, we have three kids now, a very happy marriage, and are moving from California to DC at the end of the year. So we'd been dating long distance for a year and we'd been talking about moving together the coming fall. I'd planned to propose during the summer and my plans were to arrange a treasure hunt with a bunch of clues that would eventually lead her to a forest clearing where I'd be waiting with a picnic basket and then I'd pop the question. Or something like that, it was still February at that point so I had plenty of time to make plans. Or so I thought. In Finland there's this old custom that on leap day it was okay for women to propose and if the man said no, he'd have to buy her enough fabric for making a skirt. Well, that year happened to be leap year so when leap day came she decided she didn't want to wait, even though we had discussed marriage and I'd said to wait for the summer. So there she was, looking nervous and cute. So it's leap day then. Yeah. Long pause. Want to become my husband, yes. Yes, I do. Well, big plans or not, I definitely wasn't going to turn her down. The wedding didn't take place until the next year though as we wanted more time for wedding preparations. Mine is more of a WTF story than an exciting one. I was asked by a mutual to help this girl he knew write an album. She had apparently been talking about wanting to do it for months and I had experience co-writing. I sat down with her and tried to have a therapy session with her to find any meaningful topics we could write about and. This girl had nothing. Parents paid for everything, no heartbreak, no deep interests except Instagram, and she was super ditzy and airheaded. About a week later she starts flirting with me over text and randomly pops the question. Over text. Saying we could be the best singer-songwriter couple. I had only met her once, and it was for business. I said no, but I hope it gave her at least one tribulation to write a song about. Back in 2012, my girlfriend and I were hanging out. She said, we should get married. I said, okay. We went down to the courthouse and got a marriage license the next day. Two weeks later, we were going to be married at the courthouse and the judge left work early, forgetting that he had a wedding to officiate. It wasn't much of a proposal, and the judge stood me up at the wedding, but it's been pretty smooth sailing since then. Another judge who had not left yet ended up officiating our wedding after the courthouse had closed for the day. It was weird when she got on her knees but it felt right. She made me feel special by doing it, and a little rushed. Lol. She poured her heart out and I said yes. Congratulations. Obligatory not a dude, but I proposed to my husband. We had talked about it and knew it was coming. 
We had been having difficulties with external stuff, and I realized I didn't want to go through life any further without him knowing how damn serious I was that no matter what, I was his partner. I dropped to my knee in the bedroom and proposed, then he got all excited and got the ring he got for me. We actually continued to propose to each other in different, silly ways until we eloped about a month later. Congrats. At the time, wife and I had been together for something like 7 years and I had wanted to get married, but she wasn't crazy on the idea of involving the government, which I could agree with. We had been together since high school, although we went to different schools. We went to Disneyland and while having dinner at the Pirates of the Caribbean restaurant, she casually asked me if I wanted to get married. I said yes and we bought rings for each other which we exchanged at the same restaurant about 6 months later. We still didn't get officially married, but we were married in our eyes. Fast forward a couple years and she got pregnant unexpectedly. She asked if we wanted to make it official so that all of us would have my last name. Again, I agreed and we got married on the day of our 10th anniversary, 5 weeks before our daughter was born, which was 3 years ago now, daughter's 3rd birthday is in 2 weeks. We still haven't told anyone except another couple we've been friends with for over 13 years. Even our parents don't know. We actually went to a small chapel and paid something like $50 to have two witnesses present so that we wouldn't have to tell anyone, ha ha. At this point we're too nervous to tell anyone because they'll probably be pissed we hid it for so long. So, I got with my wife shortly after a really rough breakup. My first marriage lasted 10 years, together from when we were in 8th grade until I was 24 or so. My second relationship started on bad terms, a product of cheating. That relationship went how you'd expect, she cheated on me. So by the time I got with my, now, wife I had learned a lot. I wanted to do everything right this time around and I'm proud to say that I have. After being together for a year and a half, living together and learning how to co-parent our daughters from our previous relationships, they're three months apart, we started trying for one of our own. My wife gets pregnant and we were so excited. I smiled non-stop for probably three days. As my wife is making doctor's appointments, she finds that her health insurance sucks. Having a child would be a qualifying event and that would allow me to add her to my health insurance, but that wouldn't help with any appointments or even the delivery of our daughter. So one day while I was on my way into work, she texted me and said I mean, we could get married. I assumed it was a joke. I had actually been looking into engagement rings, talked to my best friend and asked him to be my best man. So I wasn't opposed to marriage. She responds and tells me she was serious and wanted to know my answer. I was stuck. I had plans to do this and be stupid romantic for her. She deserved that. I replied can I think about it? Lol she was like. Nah fam, I need to know lol. I came clean and revealed my plans. So I said yes and we eloped. Best decision ever. We've been together 7 years now. Our daughter just turned 5. In hindsight, I should have seen that coming. The first time I cooked for her, the first thing she said was I'm gonna wife you up. I had been living with what is now my wife for 5 years and it was a weekend in April. I was being a total slob and laying on my beanbag stuffing my face with Cheetos. I was wearing pajama pants and a t-shirt that was too small for me so it was riding up over my orange dust covered belly. As I stuffed another handful into my gaping maw my wife says from the couch, when are we getting married? And between mouthfuls I said, I dunno. What are you doing this summer? Wife, nothing. Me, then this summer. I'll call my mom and let her know. Five years later and it's still the most romantic proposal I've ever heard. OMG, she was 27 and I was 21. I had no clue about life, just finishing up college. She was in the midst of baby fever. After a few months of exciting relationship she proposed. After pooping a brick I told her I wasn't ready. She immediately started dating someone else. Goddamn sounds like she was really in love with you and not the idea of being married at all. So a few years ago my best friend told me she wanted to propose to her boyfriend, cool cool, so happy for you. They were living together, had discussed getting married and the whole shebang, very much on the same page. She texts me one day, I live on the other side of the country from her, miss her constantly, that she wants to propose to him at an upcoming holiday where all their friends and family are going to be. Me being the sneaky beach I'm get her boyfriend's number off. Facebook? Not sure. But anyway. I text him and I'm like, so you want to marry my girl? He's all, oh for sure, I just need to get my ass together and order a ring. I tell him, nah, nah man, fancy ring later. You gotta stop by the mall, Macy's, Kohl's whatever. And get her a $20 ring, something simple and flattish, squirrel it in your wallet and don't smush it. 
This week, do it this week man. It's important. And no I won't tell you why. But it's important. Just trust me. He's a great dude so of course he follows my instructions. The holiday weekend rolls around, he's sitting at the table and she gets down on one knee and says she has something important to ask him and proposes. He says that, he has one condition to him saying yes. She's laughing and I think swears at him to just say yes while he's acting cheeky. Then he gets up, pulls his wallet out and fishes this little ring out and goes, my one condition is that you also agree to marry me. She cries, they kiss, everyone is happy, he owes me beer for the rest of his life. I wasn't proposed to, but I helped my brother's girlfriend propose to him. I lured him to the place where they had their first date. We prepared some clues earlier on the way there that, if he paid a lot of attention, he would notice and maybe piece together what was happening. Or maybe not. This included stickers and chalk drawings in the walls and ground, walking past a few friends, that he has only met once, listening to his favorite music and drinking his favorite beer, a fake newspaper article about people proposing at that place we were going to and finally a banner she designed that was supposed to distract him while she sneaks up from behind. Well he didn't. He told us he noticed a few things were off, but he didn't figure it out until the very end when he saw the banner. He immediately started questioning me and I broke under the pressure, laughing, telling him he should just move along a few meters and that I didn't know what he was talking about. And then she showed up with the other friends and proposed and he said yes. It was a super fun setup, everybody involved was on board and it wasn't weird at all that she proposed to him instead of the other way around. I've known her for 13 years. Friend of a friend type of thing. She was with her baby daddy for 9 of those years. 2014 one of my best friends married her best friend in Vegas. We clicked and hung out the whole time. Late 2016 she had been broken up with the baby daddy for 8 months. Crashed board game night with our best friends that were married in Vegas. Next day she texts me, hey wanna hang out just the two of us? My answer was, f yes. She proposed to me at her best friend's karaoke b-day party after singing a song, she hates singing, in front of all of our closest friends. It was one of the greatest days of my life. October 1st save the date. Congrats, my man. Feels effing weird slash amazing doesn't it? My wife proposed to me post coitus. It was a fairly random night in the summer, we both work in education, so we get summers off, and I don't know if I just did extremely well that night, but when she retreated to the bathroom she came back in with a Bruno Mars song playing on her phone. She cuddled up next to me and held the ring in her hand, asking me to be her husband. Also, we were totes in the buff and my post-nut clarity told me to say yes. We've been together 11 years, dated for 8. Not a man, but I proposed to my boyfriend last year. It was super romantic and even though we were talking about getting engaged, he didn't expect me to propose. We were both in tears and one of our closest friends came in and played a song on the guitar that meant the world to us, since it's our song. We're not married yet, but I can assure that knowing that your partner is right beside you in all circumstances makes your heart jump with joy and love. Congratulations and I hope you two are happy forever after. I've been engaged to my fiancé since February, obviously this year was a leap year. It was a Saturday morning and every Saturday morning I go to get my hair cut, I know, everybody thinks I'm crazy for getting a haircut once a week, so anyway, I get back home after my haircut expecting my girlfriend to be getting out of bed just as I get back like she normally is. Only this time I open the front door to see rose petals and candles everywhere. In the background is the music playing that was playing on our first date. I follow the petals and candles all the way up to the bedroom and see her sat on the bed in some new sexy lingerie, as a man does I'm expecting things are about to get hot and heavy, so I climb onto the bed. At this point she stops me, says that she has something she would like to say to me and proceeds to pull out a note which she has written and reads it to me as she is crying, and the last sentence was will you marry me? We both cried, I was in complete shock and obviously said yes. She got me a sweet little necklace with our initials on and the word unconditionally. We then got down to business. A week later we went and picked her an engagement ring together. She's a good egg. Congratulations. My wife proposed to me two years ago. I'm an American living in Germany. After being together with my girlfriend for six years I was transitioning from being a student to a freelance musician. The German government didn't like this and deported me, giving me a month to leave the country. I knew my girlfriend wasn't the marrying type, and we'd even talked about how visa marriages and how she could never see herself marrying just to save someone from deportation. So I spent weeks scrambling trying to find alternative ways of staying in Germany. She was still studying so moving together to the US wasn't an option. Things seemed bleak. 
One day we were sitting by the main river. She was talking about how she just can't find a way for us to stay together and she didn't want us to be apart. Then she pulled out a ring she crafted out of red and blue threads and said she realized if we got married she wouldn't be saving me, she would be saving herself as well. Then she asked if I would marry her. It was beautiful and pragmatic, just like my wife. I was ecstatic and of course said yes. We've been married for two years and have a wonderful life together. We recently adopted a dog. Not to mention it's so much easier to live in Germany being married to an EU citizen.